I'm leaving. Before we get going, quick reminder to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to receive notifications when a new video drops. So what am I doing? Well, as you may know, the UK Grant Twats, the Transport Secretary, sorry chaps, uh, has decided that we in France are no longer on the Amber Plus list. You remember we were put on the Amber Plus list because there was beta variant on Reunion Island, 9,000 kilometers away. Anyway, not going to complain. They've put France on the Amber list, which means that from 4 a.m. That's a good hill, that. Um, from 4 a.m. on Sunday, uh, I can finally go back into the UK without having to do 10 days quarantine uh, and uh, all of that. So. I very quickly got online and booked a flight, uh, an extra EasyJet flight, uh, which goes out of Nice Airport at 7.35 p.m. on Sunday evening. So when you're watching this, I hopefully will be in the air. I say hopefully because, of course, there are quite a lot of hoops to jump through first, uh, one of which I'm about to do which is go to the local chemist and have a COVID test. Because of course, if I fail, that's it. Trips off. Um, but anyway, what I'm gonna do on this vlog or on a series of vlogs is take you with me on this journey to London. You might see here, I've got a little secret spy cam. I mean, it's not that secret, is it? But it's little. Um, so I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use this camera and I'm going to take you on this journey which hopefully extends further than the local chemist but of course if the test result fails it won't um, or if I fail the test result won't fail um, but yeah I'm going to take you with me I'm going to tell you everything that I need to do along the way to make this journey back into Britain uh, going to show you how it works how smooth it is or not and uh, I'm then going to do another vlog when I come back to France, which is next Thursday, uh, and I'm first going up north to see my dad, who I haven't seen for 18 months, uh, and I think he'd given up all hope of ever seeing me again. Probably pleased, really. But um, I'm coming back via Manchester, Jewsbury and Manchester. So it's going to be a fun series of vlogs. Anyway, let's now head to the local chemist where I am hoping the French system works as smoothly as it has so far because you don't need to book anything or do anything. In theory, you just need to walk into the chemist, hand over your 29 euros and get the test and the result comes back in 15 minutes. That's the theory. Uh, but of course, right now, lots of people, particularly on a Saturday morning, are getting tested because it's, uh, it's Saturday and it's kids club night and uh, you can't go into a nightclub without, of course, the vaccine passport. Uh, so if you haven't had the vaccines, oh, let's not bring that subject up again. That was fun, wasn't it, in the vlog this week? Um, but if you haven't had the vaccine, then uh, you need a negative COVID test to, to go clubbing. So there could be quite a queue at the chemist. Anyway, let's, uh, let's cross our fingers that I am COVID negative. COVID lady's not here yet. Not here yet. Oh, oh no. Uh, yes. It's a disaster. So, a bit of a hiccup is that the pharmacist is late. Late for work, so uh, there's, there's quite a queue for the uh, COVID test. So having had the thing stuck up my nose and uh, handed over me 29 euros and uh, email, we've now come to a local cafe where um, we're going to await our results. Uh, Howard thinks he's going to get mine and I'm going to get his. 
them on post-it notes. It's possible. On post-it notes. It's not a good system, I don't think. <laughs> it was quite charming. But anyway, fingers crossed, because without that test result coming back in the right way, not going anywhere. Be stopping here. Oh, you got an email? Yeah. What's your result? Bonjour. Following your test of documents, so it's open. you have to click through to the document. Clicking through to the document. Welcome. Oh God! What's that? Oh, you have to put your date of birth in to get the result. <laughs> Tension is mounting. Now it's sending your bloody password. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Yes, now I've sent This is not terribly well thought out. Time you get your result, you'll be coming back to France. It's incredibly complicated. And the bit where you have to push enter keeps disappearing. <laughs> which is not terribly good, really. It really does. Look, but enter is there. You can't actually. Oh, it doesn't fit on the screen. It doesn't fit on the screen. So you're going to have to do it at home. You have been tested for COVID 19. On the 7th of the 8th, the result was negative. Phew. However, your COVID test certificate is currently not available. <laughs> Please try again later. Well, what the f about. This is my turn now. Have I got my email? Got an email from Blacks offering me some new hiking boots. Well, I got mine on a text. On a text? Oh. Mum is on text. I've not got either. Mind you, you were slightly before me, weren't you? So I've just realised that the text has gone through to the number on my other phone. So I'm now ringing home. Mr. Boo, are you home? No. <laughs> my result's gone to the other phone in the house. Because they haven't sent it to the email, they've sent it to the bloody um, text message. Oh, it's all so complicated. Um, where are you? Um, I'm walking up to the hill to the aggregates now. Oh, okay. Um, I'll walk back and... No, I'll walk back and get it. It's fine. See you in a bit. Bye. See you in a bit. So, we're going to head home, try and find the other phone. <laughs> and get the result, hopefully. And after that, I'm gonna show you how you then try and get this uh, test certificate, which hopefully um, is uh, the right result, into your um, phone so you can use it in the airport because uh, Monsieur Harrison has been struggling with this for this minute. So, made it home, gone to the other phone. Uh, text message from CDIP. CDEP, S-I-D-E-P, open the text message. Bonjour, votre test of COVID documents are in this link. Certificate of test. Press the link. Welcome, Timothy Fountain. Date of birth, 1995. Then you, so you enter your date of birth, you then press send password. Uh, hopefully that password has arrived. Maybe. Is the password going to arrive by email? Download. 
loading two of two. Espresso shop trying to sell me some coffee. Where's the password? Oh, here we go. Another text message from Sidic with the password. Mot de pass. It works for 10 minutes, so you have to put this, copy this code from your text message. Go back to the web browser, paste in the passcode, press done, press enter. Here comes the moment of truth. You have been tested for COVID-19. The result was negative. <sighs> Please download your certificate. There's the negative result. They'll not show you the detail, but um, I have to say that is a huge relief. I, I was camping it up, but um, that was very stressful coming home. Um, and so you then now download that and you get this... Uh, which you could either print off and fold up like the, the other vaccine certificate or I think there is a way of adding this to the two anti-covid app which is the French uh, version of the NHS app or the Canadian app or the American app uh, although I don't think America's got a totally America wide app but anyway we go in back to Britain for the first time in 15 months yes. Does not. This is it. This is your pass, which clearly states negative there. And all you do is um, you fold it in four. It's very blue, Peter. I quite like it. Uh, and uh, voila! It is your certificate numeratique. We're on our way. I just don't believe this. So I'm looking at the form, print it off, think everything's great, got all the barcodes and everything, and then look at this. Just look at how they've spelt my name. Timothy with the H, and I actually gave them my residency card. So there's, there's no excuse for it. I've now got to go back to the chemist, I presume, and have the whole test done again because the, the form comes from some thing in the sky. <sighs> so. Take two. Merci. Merci. Oh la la. So Timothy from turn 20. Parfait. <laughs> so uh, c'est possible to uh, scan uh, le tour anti-Covid. Oui, oui, normalement. Oui, oui. Merci, madame. Merci, au revoir. So, we're on our way back home. Take two. We've now got a new certificate with a stamp on it. Very old school. Uh, so having resolved that issue, you now have to fill in the passenger locator form. Now before you can fill in the passenger locator form, you have to get a reference number which proves that you have booked a day two test. So of course you try and find the cheapest. Now you go through all these so-called government sites that recommend cheaper Vaccines you see them pop up at uh, vaccines at tests they pop up at twenty ninety nine nineteen ninety nine. Of course, the minute you go through it, you realise a that's a test you have to pick up, which is fine. I would do it, but b you have to get a slot. Now, of course, in order to get this slot, uh, there has to be one available, uh, and you know there's no slot available till next Friday. Well, that can't, can't possibly be a a day two test. Whether these slots ever existed, debate. Because, of course, if you can't pick it up yourself, you have to have it carried. And if you have it carried, it costs considerably more. Anyway, after literally an hour and a half, I finally found uh, the Montague Clinic, which I thought was for the clap. But uh, maybe it once was. But now it's, uh, it's, uh, it's cashing in on the uh, COVID tests. So I think I am booking a day two courier test for 55 quid. I may come back to you on that. Uh, the ludicrousness of this is, is that by the time that result comes back, I will already be back in France. Incidentally, 
not having been required to get a test to re-enter France. Uh, I'd like to say this hasn't been a stressful experience, but I've been tearing my hair out most of the day. It's now 3.15pm uh, and I just went on the EasyJet site to try and uh, make sure I'd got a bigger seat or a, a, a you know booked seat, which you now have to do in order to get uh, to have cabin luggage that doesn't just slot under the seat because they've all gone. So then you have to have whole luggage. That's another forty one pounds. So today in supplements we're up to fifty five if it is for the test in Britain, twenty nine for the test in the chemist here, and an extra forty one for a suitcase. So. Uh, do the math, we're in for about 130 quid. The flight was only 60 quid. Um, nobody ever said it'd be easy or fair. So I've now just spent, I think, about another 20 minutes at least filling in the passenger locator form. And here it is. One, two, three pages of it printed off along with the European COVID certificate the European COVID certificate with the test results on, the COVID, two anti-COVID app, the NHS app, uh, and uh, I'm now gonna take a large glug of vodka. My carriage awaits. Okay, off we go to the airport on the motorbike taxi of Mr. Boo. Ooh. Getting too old for this. And off we go. I have to say, this feels incredibly weird. And um, it's been 15 months since we left here. The last time I did a flight was in the most traumatic of circumstances. Um, we were trying to get back into France. Um, we didn't have our papers because of Brexit and everything else. We passed through Heathrow when it had just gone into the whole sort of lockdown situation. So it was utterly desolate and spooky and there were people in full protective gear and all of that crap that's gone on. But it's weird, isn't it? Because that's the last memory you have. And I have to say that is still quite strong in my mind. And of course the flight before that was the last flight out of Bangkok when we were trying to escape Thailand to get to London uh, and that that flight uh, if we hadn't have got it we would have been in Thailand for six months so it's it's a very weird day anyway I hope it's all gonna go fine I'm gonna take the camera with me into the airport as I say so I'll show you what they require in terms of the paperwork, how stringent they are, and crucially, I guess, whether my paperwork cuts the mustard, because uh, you do worry, especially when you've had French vaccines as opposed to UK vaccines, whether they're gonna allow them. Mr. Boo isn't allowed into France for the simple reason that he only had one COVID vaccine, uh, and then uh, because he'd already had COVID, they didn't give him a second. I'd already had COVID, but luckily didn't understand what they asked me, so I said no, and they gave me two vaccines. If I hadn't, and if they hadn't, I wouldn't be going anywhere today. So it's a very crazy world we're all living in right now. But anyway, let's see if I can get through the airport and get back into Britain and get up to Yorkshire to see uh, my 91-year-old uh, dad. Well, he's 91 this year. Anyway, that is where this vlog is going to end because when we get to the airport, I've got to edit this up and get it up in the sky so that you can watch it. The next part of this vlog will be uh, hopefully going up tomorrow night, Monday night, when I'll take you through the airport, take you through the arrival in Britain, and we'll see what goes on and whether this whole thing works or whether I'm uh, back in Villefranche uh, sipping on a beer. Uh, and uh, crying into my um, um, spilt milk to mix metaphors. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to receive notifications, and please give me a like. See you tomorrow uh, on the next vlog of this travel expedition back to Blighty.
Look, there's my plane coming in. That's an easy jet. Go Stelios. I'm waiting for you, baby.